I can't wait any longer to wear this makeup again. In my most recent new makeup try on video, I discovered the Too Faced Born This Way Sunset Stripped Eyeshadow Palette, some Hourglass products, and then I'm also gonna reuse some things that I haven't used in a while, but they're new to me and I'm just really excited to wear them again. Honestly, it was the eyeshadow that made me wanna film this video because I wanna just try another look with this and I haven't yet dipped into this since filming that video and I am dying to. We're wasting no time. I'm gonna go in with my NARS eyeshadow primer today. Last time I used the Jaclyn one with that formula and I found at the end of the day, it kind of had a little bit more creasing than what I'm normally used to when it comes to my eyeshadow, so I wanted to see if maybe, you know, that buttery formula wasn't as compatible with the Jaclyn primer as some other eyeshadow formulas that I've used with it. So I'm just gonna use my tried and true, like I've been using this one for years so that I can see how it performs on top of this primer. If you watch that video, you'll know that I was dying to do a look with this shade called Surfboard. It's like a taupey purple. So this is gonna be my inspiration for today's look. I'm gonna start off with Nude Beach. And I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. You guys were so kind on the video where I tried out this eyeshadow palette. So many of you said it's one of your favorite looks you've ever seen me do, which I was not expecting, but I'm very thankful. So thank you for all your sweet comments. I definitely loved how the look turned out, which is why I can't wait to try something else with this palette. Next, I'm gonna be using the shade Sun Chaser, which is a little bit more of a cool tone. Well, I don't wanna say cool tone. It's like a neutral brown. And I'm gonna use this on the outer portions of the lid to kind of create a little definition here before we go into that shimmer shade. By the way, I already filled my brows in and I used my Milani brow pencil. I'm just gonna switch back into the brush we were just using and kind of brush things up toward the brow a little bit more. Okay, for the moment we've all been waiting for, at least the moment I've been waiting for, I'm gonna dip into a surfboard using my fingertip. These shimmer shades are very buttery and so applying it with my fingertip was really gorgeous last time, so that's what I'm doing again. Okay, so as I'm applying this, you actually do see the golden shift quite a bit more than you do in the pan, but you still get that kind of taupey lavender undertone. This is such a pretty shade. I honestly don't think I have anything quite like this in my collection, which is exciting for me because I have a lot in my collection. So it's fun when there's something new. That is so pretty. I think that's so nice. You can kind of see as I turn my head this way, you can see the purple undertone in that. It just depends on where the light is hitting. I think that's gorgeous. I honestly do want a little bit of pink. So I'm gonna take golden hour and I'm gonna kind of layer that on the outside of the lid and then also drag it into the crease a little bit. Going right over top of where we applied the brown sun chaser shade, I just want a little bit of pink in here. Yeah, I think that really helps kind of tie in the purple somehow. I think that looks really good. Next, I'm going to be taking Shall We Dance on my fingertip, which is a really pretty kind of pink sparkly shade. And I want this to kind of be my inner corner highlight and then I'm gonna bring it up a tiny bit onto the lid, just a little. I don't want it to cover up that surfboard color, but I want just a little bit of pink right here in the inner corner. If you guys watched that same video, you would have seen that I tried out the Hourglass Voyeur Waterproof Gel Liners and I wanted to try another shade. So this is called Chestnut. Trying to figure out what this color is. Okay, yeah, it's like a warm chestnut brown, which I think would be really pretty with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line the outer half of the top lid, just for a little warm brown definition on the outer edge. And I'm keeping it really close to the lash line because I want definition, but I don't want it to overpower the eyeshadow in any way. So now that that's on, let's see. I'm gonna use my Cali Ray mascara, and I'm just gonna apply this to the top lashes. I feel like this is a very soft and natural eye look, but I'm really loving the direction that we're going. Next up, I wanted to revisit a Shiseido product that I picked up during the Sephora VIP sale. This is the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Tint, and I have mine in the shade Fair 115. I keep going back to my NARS foundation, even though I've tried a couple new things recently, and I just really felt like I should revisit this again, because I thought it was such a pretty product. It's just been harder for me to like branch out when I have the NARS foundation that works so well for me right now. But this is a really nice skin tint. It doesn't give tons of coverage, but enough. I feel like it really cancels out my redness, which is nice. It has kind of like a gel formula and it feels really nice on the skin. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Bobbi Brown Concealer Stick. This is in the shade Porcelain and I'm gonna take the other side of that e.l.f. brush and I'm just gonna start kind of working this into the skin underneath the eyes. We'll do a bit around the nose. I'm gonna use it to spot conceal blemishes. Once I've used the brush all over, I'm just going over everything with my sponge one more time. 
just to make sure there's no brush lines. I feel like my skin really still shines through with those two base products. So this is feeling like a daytime glam kind of a look with like a lighter feel to the complexion, a little something on the eyes, but not something too over the top. So I really like it so far. I'm gonna now go into the Jaclyn and Robin Power Move Loose Setting Powder in the shade Sheer Fair. This is also gonna make my complexion look really healthy and nice and luminous and not powdery whatsoever. This is such a beautiful lightweight powder that does have a bit of glow to it, but I think it looks so pretty. So I'm just gonna take a bit of that and start to set the face. Next, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Bronzer. This is a pretty new bronzer to me as well. I have the shade 200 Fair. And I'm gonna use this to warm up the complexion. This is a pretty warm undertone when it comes to a bronzer, but I think it works for summertime. And I feel like the formula is really good. Like it kind of blends itself out. I always get so excited when there's new bronzers released, but especially affordable bronzers. So I have really enjoyed this so far. When I did review this initially, I mentioned to you guys that the fragrance is pretty strong and I still think it is, but it doesn't last on the skin. So it doesn't bother me like at the end of the day. So I've still been wearing it. Okay, we're gonna jump right back into the Too Faced palette and I'm gonna use a little bit of Sun Chaser. I'm gonna tap off the excess and just apply this along the entire lower lash line. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of pink using the Golden Hour color, which was this one right here, just right on top to mimic the color that we created on the top lid. And then I'm gonna take the shade Surfboard, which is the one we applied all over the lid. I'm gonna pick that up on a smaller brush and I'm actually gonna spray this with some setting spray. Let's see, I'm gonna use the Jaclyn and Robin setting spray. To spritz the brush. I'm gonna tap off the excess and then apply this to the inner two thirds of that lower lash line. It actually looks so beautiful when it's wet with setting spray. It just kind of has like this molten gold, purpley pink shift. That's so pretty. I'm very into that. Okay. I'm then gonna take the same damp brush and dip into Shall We Dance, which was that pink sparkly shade we used on this inner portion. And I'm gonna just drag that down to kind of complete the inner corner on this lower lash line. And I think that's all I wanna do for the eyes. I just wanted to keep it really simple with that purple gold taupe shade as the focal point. So I'm gonna pop on mascara to the lower lashes. All right, now we're going to move on to blush. And I really wanted to revisit my REM Beauty Cheek and Lipstick in the shade Audition. I'm gonna take this on like a dense fluffy-ish brush and I'm gonna pick that up and then just tap it into the back of my hand to get the product like dispersed into the brush. And then I'm gonna smile and start to apply this to the apples of the cheeks. This formula is so beautiful and I've actually been meaning to run into my Ulta because I think that they have REM Beauty at my Ulta store, I think. I checked online and it said that they had these in stock in stores where I'm at. So I've been meaning to go in and pick up more colors, but this peachy tone will work beautifully with the eye look. So I'm just gonna go across the nose a bit, up toward the temple, but I am focusing it on the apples. Then I'm just gonna take my sponge and just go around the edges so that it's blended seamlessly into the other products. You know what? What if we did a little Pat McGrath contour as lip liner, which will make it a little bit more glam. I'm just blending that out with my fingertip and then I'm filling in the outer corners. One of my other new favorite discoveries from that same video where I found the Too Faced palette is the Hourglass, uh, what are these called? Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balms. And I honestly haven't tried any other shade besides this shade called Mist, but this shade is to die for. So I'm using it again. And I'm just gonna apply this all over the lips, focusing on the center. The amount of shine and hydration that this gives is just insane. I think it's so beautiful. I really should branch out and try some of the other colors sometime, but for now, I can't get enough of this color. It's stunning. Look at that. It's so pretty. Okay, we are going to assess the situation. I want a little more bronzer. I do feel like that Shiseido face color or skin tint or whatever is a little bit light for me. It still works, but I do feel like I kind of have to add a little more bronzer than I do with some of my other foundations, which is fine. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking that L'Oreal bronzer and going over everything again. I think we're good on the blush. I am taking the powder brush and just kind of going around the edges of the bronzer and the blush just to really smooth things out. And then I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn and Robin All Set Setting Spray. And I'm just gonna lock everything into place. And then as always, I like to take my sponge and press the setting spray down into the complexion. And I feel like I'm looking pretty dewy in the T-zone. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just smooth over those areas just to combat that extra shine. 
And then I'm gonna set the brows using my Mario Brow Setter or Brow Gel. And there you have it. That completes this look, reusing some of the products that I just couldn't stop thinking about. Like I had to use them again, especially the eyeshadow palette. I really love this kind of daytime glam look. The last look that I did with this palette was definitely more vacation inspired, very summery, very bronzy, very smoky. I feel like I could go even more intense with this palette, which I'll have to do that next. But I was really, really happy about that kind of purple taupe color that we have on the lid. I think it's such a pretty shade and I really enjoyed dipping back into the Hourglass lip products. These two products are so good in my opinion. I was also reminded of how pretty that blush is. The concealer's looking good. Overall, I'm really happy about how this turned out and it's always fun for me to reuse the things that are really inspiring, especially when I discover something new. I feel like I just wanna use it every single day and that's definitely what happened recently with some of these products, so. I hope you enjoyed seeing me use some of these things again. I hope you enjoyed this kind of daytime glam look as much as I do. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.